Hi everyone, I am Zubair Hassan. Hope you all are fine. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic on population and sampling. So dear friends, let's start today's topic on population and sampling. Today we will discuss the concept and types of population and the concept and types of sampling. At first we will start with the meaning and concept of population. Population means the collection of the specified group of similar objects, individuals, and of the entities that have some common observable characteristics. Population means the collection of the specified group of individuals, specified group of subjects, and or of the entities that have some common observable characteristics that has some common observable characteristics or we can say population is the entire boundary of the subject in which you are working or studying when we say population in the research it means the entire boundary of the subject entire boundary of the subject on which the investigator or we can say researcher is working or studying the entire boundary of the subject, the entire boundary of the individuals, the entire boundary of the objects, and the entities on which the researcher, we can say, or investigator is studying or working on. And the population includes all the elements. Population includes all the elements from the data set and measurable characteristics known as parameter. Parameter is the another uh, word here very important to know means the data set the measurable data set which is being measured we can say population includes all the elements population includes all the elements from the data set and measurable characteristics those measurable characteristics are known as parameter those measurable characteristics are known as parameter parameter is the thing which measures the data set in population and mm, next one its types types of population there are four types of population population have four types first finite population infinite population existent population and hypothetical population finite population means countable data countable population finite population means which is countable which can be counted and it can be of individuals it can be of objects it can be of any things which is countable which can be counted for example uh, like um, employees in a company or students in a school employees in a company we can say uh, a manager knows how many employees are working in their company and a principal or headmaster he has a fullest knowledge of his students how many students are uh, studying in his school or fact we can say faculty in a school or we can say faculty in a school this is called a finite population which can be measured which can be measured and which can be uh, of countable which can be of countable which a researcher can have uh, a count by his uh, measures and second one is infinite population infinite population means that population which is uncountable that population which is uncountable uh, the population which is uncountable can be of uh, also things and objects which is not possible to count which is not possible to count when an investigator uh, works on the population or faces the population which is not uh, countable we can say for example a number of cells in human body a number of cells in human body if we talk about the cells of the human body 
if we talk about the cells of the human body there are all the thousands of cells in the human body but it is very difficult to count how many cells are in the human body but uh, when any investigator wants to work on the cells of the human body to know uh, something about it but we can say this is the population cells of the human body is the population but what type of population this can we say this is the finite population which cannot be uh, counted by the researcher which is uh, impossible to be counted and another is existent population existent population means population in concrete things we can say population in the units which are available in units that population which are available in units for example we can say population of books population of for example books we can say students students of arts if we talk about a student any researcher wants to conduct a study on the students on secondary school students we can say how uh, there is an existent population when you talk about this type of population then existent population here means all the secondary school students are available in uh, for example some students uh, falling in the unit of arts in the unit of science in the unit of social science this is the population available in units when there is the population available in units we can say this is existent population or books we can say books in english books in uh, urdu books in uh, kashmiri or any subject we can say uh, when there are books available in uh, 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 we can say literature uh, separated literatures english urdu this is called the existent population this is called existent population existent population of books existent population of students and last one hypothetical population hypothetical population is the another type of population which uh, we can say when there is uh, not available any unit of population any unit of population or we can say uh, there is not no availability of uh, any solid form of population uh, we can say uh, this type of population is called a hypothetical population in hypothetical population we can say uh, the example like uh, tossing of a coin tossing of a coin or rolling of the dice rolling of the dice when um, we are rolling a dice we can not say whether it will be one whether it will be two whether it will be three four or five this dice this is the dice of huh, six in shape six but we cannot say whether it will be three four five or six or one or two there an only hypothesis or guess can work and tossing a coin we cannot say whether it will be tail or whether it will be head there is the only possibility of the guess so uh, this was the example of hypothetical population i hope uh, you got understanding of these four things finite population in finite population existent population and hypothetical population existent population and hypothetical population you can make it differentiate by when there is the availability of units or we can say that when there is the population available in solid form this is called existent population when there is non availability of the population in uh, solid form when there is the population not available in solid form we can say this hypothetical population and another uh, which we are going to discuss to do uh, the sampling at first this was population and now sampling different in sampling there are two things which are very important and necessary to know like sample and sampling these are the two concepts uh, at first we will discuss sampling what does mean sampling means a part of the population selected according to some rule 
or plan for driving conclusion regarding population characteristics sample means a part of population selected according to some rule or plan a part of population which is being selected or which is to be selected according to some rule or plan for drawing conclusion regarding population characteristics sample is the proportion of representation of the population as we can say sample is the proportion proportion means percentage of the representation of the population percentage of the representation of the population at first population means entire which includes entire everything for example uh, we can say st uh, students or secondary school students it includes secondary school students of any state secondary school students of any uh, district secondary school students of any country but when we have to take representative sample when we have uh, to research on the entire population we can have only uh, the proportion but which will represent the whole state whole district or whole country on which we can work because the uh, entire population would be very uh, higher and very we can say uncountable we cannot do a research on that we uh, take a sample and work on that which will represent the whole population uh, correctly so sample means the proportion of representation as usually we take uh, of the population on which we are working the major which major is the characteristic of sample is called statistics the major or we can say the major which measures the characteristics of the sample is called statistics is called statistics or before uh, you may be you may remember uh, the thing uh the major which measures the characteristics of population is known as parameter and here same the major which measures the characteristics of the sample is called statistics it's called statistics the characteristics of the sample which can be measured by something is called statistics statistics is the major statistics is the measure of sampling we can say and parameter is the measure of population and next one sampling this was the concept of sample this was the concept of sample and next one is the sampling sampling means the process of selecting the sample the process of selecting the sample first one was sample what was sample the proportion of the representation of the population on which we are going to work on which we are for, uh, we can say on which uh, we are stating this was sample and sampling means the process of selecting the sample the process of selecting the sample proportion from the population sampling can be done through various uh, methods like uh, we have it starts uh, probability and non probability sampling there are two usually types of sampling probability and non probability sampling you may know probability means that method uh, we can say the procedure which is done not on the discretion of the researcher which is done only on the methods which is done only on the randomizations which is done through the methods not the discretion of the researcher probability mean probability sampling means the procedure which is done not on the discretion of the researcher not on the discretion means judgment of the researcher and non probability sampling another method means uh, non probability sampling means uh, the method the procedure which is done based on the discretion of the researcher which is done based on the discretion of the researcher judgment of the researcher probability and non probability these are the two procedures of taking sample so probability have its own types 
simple random uh, sampling systematic random sampling uh, cluster random sampling we can say a uh, multi-state sampling we can discuss in uh, next lecture and non probability sampling quota sampling snowball sampling and chunk sampling it will be discussed in another lecture so hope you got proper understanding of uh, the population and uh, sampling so thank you